Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. I've got some interesting feedback uh, from YouTube user Eshel Art Photography. And their comment on the, I think it's one of the, the, the new Nikon mirrorless discussions we were having. Uh, they say, I own two Sony mirrorless cameras. I have few issues with them. And once Nikon will come out with their mirrorless, I will slowly move entirely into the Nikon mirrorless system, assuming it really will be as good as I'm expecting them to be. Don't get me wrong, I'm altogether happy with my Sony for video, but I do have a few things that I find to be a pain. First is the menu system. I find it hard to work with and not intuitive at all. Secondly, I find the Sony color science hard to work with. I use for video also my Nikon D850, and the files I get from this camera need very little work, uh, while the Sony, I spend so much time to get where I want color-wise. Button layout isn't brilliant either, but I can work around it, and so that's, for me, not a big issue. But as I said, I can see myself in two to three years back only to a Nikon system owning both mirrorless and DSLR for photo and video. Sony is good, but for me and my taste, Nikon is best. So thanks, Ashal Art uh, Photography. That's interesting feedback. So we got someone that owns two so uh, Sony mirrorless, and um, their biggest complaints is the color science and the menu system. They find the uh, menu system not intuitive, intuitive at all, and the color science hard to work with. They have to do a lot of tweaking to it, whereas with their Nikon D850, virtually nothing needs to be done. And um, so it's interesting. They also, minor complaint, the button layout. Don't like it, but they can work around it. So three complaints, really. And they're seeing themselves out of the Sony system and back into fully Nikon, providing everything that we've heard and all the excitement and the rumors are true, and these cameras are as good as we're hoping them, uh, hoping they will be. So uh, great feedback from Eshel. Uh, I'm curious, how many of you are in the same position? Have you switched? And if these new Nikons are as good as they uh, are, they as they appear like they're going to be, as I'm hoping they're going to be, um, are you going to switch back? Do you see yourself liquidating your Sony stuff? Do you see yourself coming back to the Nikon Fold and being happy with the new Nikon mirrorless if they're as good as the, they're rumored to be? The big thing, I actually have no concerns with the Nikon mirrorless being as good as we think they're going to be. I think they will be. I think they'll be every bit as good. The one caveat I have is to do with uh, what they're going to do with a autofocus system for video. In other words, something compatible, or not compatible, comparable to, or better than, DPAF from Canon, dual pixel autofocus, the smooth, fluid video autofocus. So when you're in video, the ability to follow a subject smoothly and accurately without stuttering, um, and also while you're in live view as well. Uh, currently, they're probably the weakest at that of any manufacturer, uh, but I suspect... I think they know this. I think they know they have to compete, and I think they're going to be coming out of the gate with something as good or better. That's what I believe. I'm going to be sadly disappointed, as will a lot of people, if that is not the case. But I do believe Nikon would not be coming out with these two very much hyped bodies that they've put. They've waited so long to put all this uh, time and R&D and investment into without addressing that issue. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, are you more like Eshel? Are you Sony? And are going to come back to Nikon? Were you holding off on going Sony? Because you see these new Nikons are going to be out soon. Let me know. Just curious to, to see what you are doing in that sense. If you were a Sony shooter or are a Sony shooter, um, are you coming back? Were you previously a Nikon shooter? Uh, let us know. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks, Eshel, for your comments. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.